secret facility with Russian officers and airbase hit in Crimea, three KA-52 helicopters were damaged. A Russian army airbase near Simferopol, as well as a secret facility in Sevastopol, came under attack during yesterday's explosions in the occupied Crimea. This was reported by Dialogue Media Outlet with a reference to Russian telegram channels. At least three KA-52 attack helicopters are reported to be damaged and information about the condition of one fighter jet is also being verified. As for the secret location, the message does not specify what exactly it is about, but it does say that there may be serious casualties among Russian officers. Meanwhile, in the Saki region, air defense radars came under attack. One of them was disabled. Russian media claim that the Ukrainian arms attack on military targets in the Crimea was carried out using missiles and drones. There has been no information about casualties by now. The Rushi oil depot is located a kilometer from the damaged building. Militani media outlet says that a powerful explosion occurred at the Vadisk military airbase in Crimea. According to some sources, combat aircraft were at the airfield at the time of the explosion. There is a high probability that the unit's aviation personnel suffered losses. The 37th Composite Aviation Regiment of Russian Aerospace Forces is stationed at Vadisk military airbase, equipped with Su-24M frontline bombers and Su-25 attack aircraft. Prior to the explosion at the airfield, local media reported an air raid alert and the operation of the Russian air defense on the peninsula. In addition, according to them, all 12 aircraft flying toward the peninsula were intercepted. They note that the strike was carried out by a combined launch of ADM-160, MALD decoy missiles and French-British Storm Shadow cruise missiles. According to their information, a few hours before the strike, an US RQ-4B Global Hawk remotely piloted surveillance aircraft and a P-8A Poseidon patrol aircraft flew near the peninsula. Additionally, there were reports of explosions at the Saki military airfield, where Russian aircraft are also based. The Saki military airbase has been repeatedly attacked by Ukrainian forces, as it is a strategically important Russian facility where, in addition to aviation, there is a training facility for operators of Iranian Mujahar UAVs. Zelensky cannot understand how Trump could solve Ukraine conflict. Former US leader Donald Trump claims that he could end the Ukraine conflict in one day if he returns to power is not credible, President Volodymyr Zelensky has said. In an interview with Fox News, Zelensky was asked about the Republican presidential front-runner's promise and responded that he can't understand how Trump would achieve such a goal. He can't solve this problem. This tragedy with me, he stated, reiterating his invitation to Trump to visit the front line. Zelensky suggested that if Trump were to travel to Ukraine, he would be able to see what's going on and change his mind. The former US president previously said it would be inappropriate for him to visit the country at this time as he did not want to create a conflict of interest with the administration of US President Joe Biden, which is currently dealing with the crisis. Earlier this month, however, Bloomberg reported, citing an advisor to Trump, that Washington could potentially push Kiev to engage with Moscow by threatening to cut massive U.S. military assistance. He reportedly added that Russia could be swayed to enter talks by the threat of ramping up aid to Ukraine if it refuses. The former U.S. president has vowed to end hostilities within 24 hours if elected. Putin moving nukes through Russia for impending attack? In a national address, Russian President Vladimir Putin has threatened to use nuclear weapons if NATO countries were to join a ground offensive in Ukraine. The suggestion of adding NATO forces to Ukraine was made by France's President Emmanuel Macron, but quickly dismissed by the US, UK and Germany. However, it comes amid calls to show more strength against the Kremlin from Baltic leaders as Russian troops ramp up military operations along land and sea borders in the region. Estonia, Latvia and Lithuania are now bolstering their civilian armies and have urged other NATO countries, including the UK, to do the same. At such a time, on February the 27th, a self-proclaimed conspiracy theorist named Liz Churchill posted a video on X that appeared to show Russian intercontinental ballistic missile launchers being moved through the streets at night.
Churchill's post read, President Putin is moving nuclear weapons. Russia isn't playing games. To NATO and the CIA, you cannot win this. Please surrender. The video was also widely shared by other users on X. Sergei Radchenko, a Russian-born British historian, suggested Putin's quick lurch to nuclear threats suggested Macron had touched a raw nerve. I thought it was interesting that Putin's speech included a direct reference to Macron's recent remark that the use of NATO's troops in Ukraine should not be excluded, he said. His apoplectic reaction to threatening nuclear war suggests that Macron touched a raw nerve. Putin later suggested that the West was being cavalier about the threat Russia poses. The West is trying to drag us into an arms race. They are trying to wear us down, to repeat the trick they succeeded in pulling off with the Soviet Union in the 1980s, Putin said. <music>